Hello everyone, welcome to Dragon Emperor. So today we'll be testing out Jutsu Kaisen Clash Cursed Clash on the Asus ROG Ally. Before we get into started into the video, please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so this video will be divided in three parts. One is like you know the game performance, how it's performing on this, then the graphics settings, as well as like you know the best optimal settings for that. I mean, the, is the game worth playing on this or no? I meant sorry. <laughs> Okay, here's the my settings actually. You can see I set it to 900p. Like 900p is the best spot actually to get the best performance as well as FPS. Now that you can see the FPS on the top right hand corner, let's begin with the game. To keep it spoiler free, I won't go much into the story. I've been playing this game for some time but not too much. Because this game has been giving me like you know a bit of mixed feelings. It's not like the best uh, like you know Jutsu Kaisen game out there. It's honestly only the only one game out there but still. This is one thing annoying about these developers, you know, this is what they do. If I, like, you know, anime is doing pretty well, instead of investing more and making the game better, all they do is just, you know, just use the anime branding and just monetize based on that. Okay, here's the game. Honestly, the game is a bit disappointing when you play, actually. It does perform pretty well. In terms of performance and playing on the ROG, it's a pretty good experience, but the game itself is kind of actually bad. As you can see, I'm losing now here. <laughs> Like it has pretty like you know simple combat system that is kind of a bit disappointing you have to smash one button there's no like you know light or heavy combo attacks like that though there are like skills and ultimate but again they feel like pretty limited actually and here i am see you kind of get kind of bored of this game actually pretty easily it's just because you know how repetitive the things are you see the same combo again and again and again that's it Hopefully, like, you know, they added more, actually. I did, like, in total time, it had, like, some other combo and stuff, but still, this kind of a bit disappointing, actually. Okay, here, I've used Yuji's ultimate now. Let me know if you guys have seen the Jujutsu Kaisi anime or not. Yeah, during the ultimate, the FPS just drop a little bit, but not that huge, actually. But after that, once it again, it's, like, stable around 50, 60, like that, 55, 60. Okay, I'll just skip this part to keep it spoiler free for you guys if you haven't watched the anime. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's try better. I'll show you the graphic settings now. Okay, hopefully you can see on the screen, guys. You can pause and like you know copy the graphic settings from here whenever you want. And this is like how is the resolution I set, and this is on 25 uh, watts actually. This is on turbo mode. This is on battery, guys. Do remember keep that in mind. If you plug it and set it to turbo, you'll get slightly better, more FPS, but I feel like, like, you know, you won't test it on, like, how it's performing on handheld as well. So, here we are. Okay, that's a new graphic settings. Let's try, like, you know, other characters and stuff, how it's performing in that. The game, as let's go, okay, let's get into the graphic part is done, and let's get into the game part. The game, honestly, it kind of, it's like a mixed bag feeling for me, actually, honestly. I'm, like, I love Jutsu Kaisen series, but the game is kind of slightly bit disappointing. Like the way, like, you know, they don't, like, feel, you can definitely can feel it in a playing this game, they haven't invested much into the game, actually, like, what it is. They just try to, like, you know, use the anime's branding, like, you know, to sell the game, actually, rather than the game being unique on its own. This game does not provide, like, anything unique experience if you take just another way. Honestly, it is much more better if this making, like, sort of, like, you know, Naruto and just from 4 style or something like that. The graphic is pretty similar to that, but I mean, like, story, gameplay, and other stuff like that, like, ultimate combos different flashy moves and stuff like that although i haven't still played this full of the story of this game yet i've been like because i just lost interest in playing after one to chapter itself of this game okay here we are the simple thing like you know dodge though there's block but it's like hard to get that thing right okay here's the fight is going to begin now This is a bit annoying actually, like you know, like you can't stay in mid-air unless you're hitting or something like this. You keep on smashing button unless you go to higher there, that's a bit annoying. And there's no jump button though, press M, I'm pressing A. Oh, great. And we go down again. Let me know if you guys have played this game on your other PC or console. This game is on the Nintendo Switch as well. Since I have bought it from my ROG, I haven't bought it from my Nintendo Switch here. But I'll try getting out of my Nintendo Switch so I can make a comparison video on that, whether it's, this game is worth playing on that or no. But I feel like, you know, ROG is the best place to play this because you can get high graphics in this way better compared to the Switch. Though I prefer the Switch OLED display because just, you know, how good the OLED is actually. 
It'll be awesome if you know they make a raw guy like pro or something like that with amulet display and stuff like that. That will be insane actually. With rumors of saying like you know raw guy 2 coming soon. So let's see how's that gonna be. Uh, so the gameplay here we are going. The performance has been maintaining pretty good actually. But I'm not getting any good combo right now here. Because seriously, it's a bit annoying because see you're hitting them and they start flying away. It's hard to get like a next combo during that. I'm just smashing my button left and right now. I'm going to hit my Nobara now. Nice. Okay, here we go. See, again she missed. Oh, great. It would have been nice if the, like, you know, ultimate or like any other like, skills were like, you know, tracking the enemy actually. For Gori, it's just like same kick again and again often. Actually, it's kind of repetitive and kind of a bit boring if you play for a little bit while actually. And this game, like, you know, match lasts like 3 minutes. Oh, great. Oh, here I am again. Once we are playing, recording this, actually, I forgot to make, like use this bit combo, actually, different combos in that. But still, the combos are kind of easy to miss, actually, because you have, rather than, like, you know, pressing a different button combos, it's more of, like, placing the arrow keys, actually. Uh, by arrow key, mean be the jo joystick, actually. Up, down, like that, you have to keep on just smashing the buttons then. Though, what I've seen, like, a bit more complicated, sophisticated, like, you know, combo moves offset or something like that. That would have been a bit more nice. But honestly, this game still feels like it's lacking a lot of things like that. Okay, let me know guys if you have played this game or know in the comments and what is your opinion on the game. On the raw gala, yeah, if you're playing, you're getting pretty good performance. But as the game is enjoyable or no, it's going to depend on you guys now. I means I've been a fan of this series, that's why I tried playing this game. But here I am. Can't believe Joseph's getting kicked his ass around so much. Oh. It's hard to get in my ulti uh, hit on them. Oh, great. Again, I'm trying to get my ulti on her, but I'm still messing it up. Oh, great. Oh, great. Looks like I'm gonna die. No, no, no. Nope. Come on. Okay, now she has pressed that little bit different combo. Okay, now she's dead. Let's go with him, Nanami. Okay, he's kicking my butt now. It would have been cool if, like, you know, they had Gojo's this thing, like, uh, what is that? Infinity on Ashley in this. That would have been pretty good, actually. Maybe, like, you know, when he's cursed, Aura is max or something like that energy. Okay, I got kicked my butt clicked here. Okay, Megumi is fighting on Zoom. Okay, let's quit and try taking try some other character as well. Okay, this is the game way, but honestly, they haven't spent much on the game. If I go and watch the in game animations, they are kind of pretty disappointing. It's like they've taken the anime and cut few scenes from that or clips from that, that's it. This does not have any original anime on its own, so animations on its own. Okay, you now it's plugged in. Let's see the how it's performing on plugged in now. Okay, let's set it to 900p again. It's again on turbo. I hope you can see the guys in the display clearly. And one more thing, make sure you guys are updating your races rogal to latest firmware. This is one of the best features I have like like in this update has got actually. Like you know, I can adjust the manual what is that? Manual fan cover like power consumption from the uh, sub menu actually rather than just going to settings and changing from there. This is much more easier and more accessible as well. Okay, here we are. Let's try Sukuna now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Spoiler alert if you guys haven't seen and the anime, you know what's gonna happen next with these two being in the same team. And here's the cool intro dialogues. Okay, they have a thing unique actually when Megumi and Sukuna are in the same team. That's a bit disappointing. Though Gojo and Megumi had like you know the same uh, like dialogue, not same, they had a unique dialogue actually when they were together. Okay, let's go. So this is Sukuna's basic attack. He's just gonna send him flying now. And there's Nanami. Okay. He has super close range though. That's a bit disappointing. I thought okay, let's see. I'm just smashing my button here. Sorry for my gameplay guys. I'm watching and recording this through my iPad display, so it's a bit hard to get the controls right. Oh great, he sent me flying alright. Let's try go for round two again. Nope. Let's see. Hey guys, if you made this far to the video, please just uh, consider subscribing. I'll post more Jutsu Kaisen and other Rock Island videos as well frequently. So make sure you guys subscribe for that, not to miss that. And I'll be posting like you know link. Uh, what is that? 
a playlist link uh, in the description which I'll be play, uh, showcasing all the like you know previous games which I've played in the Rogue Ally. So please check that out as well after this video. And here we go, Nabara. Oh, she's flying with every hit, man. That's a bit annoying because I have to hit her, then again chase her, and she's sending me flying now. Oh, great. Okay, that's his ulti. Yep, looks like it. That knocked her out. Again. That's his again second ability there. Oh, great. It's a bit annoying chasing the enemy actually. They go too far and again you have to go behind them again here and there. Okay, here we go. With this, I'll end the video guys. Thank you all for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to subscribe as well. I said that again though. Okay, see you all in my next video. Thank you all for watching.